In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Let us pause and call to mind our sins and ask forgiveness. You raise the dead to life in your spirit, Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of your Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. Such is my gospel, for which I am suffering, even to the point of chains, like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore I bear with everything for the sake of those who are chosen so that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus, together with eternal glory. This saying is trustworthy. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we persevere, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful for he cannot deny himself. Remind people of these things and charge them before God to stop disputing about words. This serves no useful purpose since it harms those who listen. Be eager to present yourself as acceptable to God, a workman who causes no disgrace, imparting the word of truth without deviation. <laughs> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Teach, teach me, me your ways, ways o, Lord. o Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sin is the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Teach me your ways, O Lord. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, This is the first. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is like is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to Jesus, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, 
is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered him on, with understanding, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. So we have uh, seen Jesus these past uh, couple of days um, being uh, quizzed by his enemies, uh, you know, whether or not to pay the tax, um, you know, which is the greatest commandment, uh, what have you. Well, today we come to the final one, which is the greatest commandment. And actually, this was a question that was often posed uh, to teachers of the law. So this is not an unusual question. And probably this, um, this scribe probably had heard Jesus in prior arguments and respected him. So he asked him. He didn't, doesn't come out of any kind of anger or opposition. And Jesus uh, loved the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, your neighbors, yourself. These are not new. These two commandments are all over the pages of the Old Testament. To love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, we find in the book of Deuteronomy. Love your neighbor as yourself, we find in Leviticus. So there's nothing new here, but what Jesus did is he melted these two together in a very radical way so that you can no longer measure your love for God in the abstract. You can only measure and understand your love for God and your love for others. There is a challenge. We cannot stand here and say we love God and at the same time uh, be at odds with someone else or apathetic to their needs or uncaring for those who have less. We love God in proportion to the love we have for others. So today as we celebrate God's love for us in sending his son and allowing his son's body to be broken and blood spilled for our forgiveness, let us pray that we will imitate the love that God has for us in caring for those in need, caring for our neighbor, and in doing so, show our true love for the Lord. Let us stand and bring our petitions to the mercy of the Lord. <clears throat> that the Lord may help each one of us in his holy church to follow Jesus' instruction to love God with our whole being. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may guide leaders throughout the world in following his ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all who live on the margins may experience the love and peace of Christ through the comp compassion and generosity of people of goodwill. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may grant all of us gathered here the grace to respond to his call to serve others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have passed from this life may one day enjoy fullness of life with Jesus in heaven. <clears throat> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Jim Morris, who we remember especially at this Mass, and for what or whom do we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the comfort of Mary and Chet, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And seeking the intercession of Our Lady, Queen of Peace, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. And we ask these many things through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Thank you. Thank you. Bless the Lord God of all creation, the King of goodness, we had his bread to offer Richard this giving him many hands and made him become for us the bread of life. May this meal we water while we come to share the divinity of Christ through whom we self to share in our humanity. Bless the Lord God of all creation, through his goodness we have this water to offer for the divine and worthy of human hands. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from all my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Lord, trusting in your compassion, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. peace. God's peace, Pastor. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Lord, governed by your Spirit, governed by your Spirit, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a good day.